The fifth session of the Pan-African Parliament is officially underway. PAP is this week expected to elect its next president. Now, during the last session last year, elections descended into chaos. My colleague Hugo Rubatika is in Midrand for us, tracking the story, and earlier was able to speak to PAP member and the EFF leader, Julius Malema, on the sidelines of the gathering. A year ago, there was a heated exchange between Julius Malema and the Malian candidate for the presidency of the Pan-African Parliament. Today, we speak to Julius Malema to establish if that impasse has been resolved and what the likely outcome of tomorrow's elections is going to be. Mr. Malema, thank you so much for speaking to us. A year ago, there was a heated exchange between you and the Malian uh, counterpart who was vying for the presidency. In fact, uh, a lot of what happened resulted in Parliament. Uh, being postponed and no president being elected. Do you see a resolution come election tomorrow? Well, uh, there's going to be a resolution. The AU has resolved on the rotation as a principle. That's what we're fighting for. And therefore, uh, the candidate will either come from the south or the north. And uh, we don't envisage the reputation of what happened. The AU must stay firm on its decision and defend its own decision. We have no role to play today. We are here to follow what the AU said we must follow. And uh, we don't uh, investigate any problem. Now, earlier I spoke to the candidate from South Sudan who represents the Eastern Bloc, and he is convinced that whilst the AU might agree, they have not made a resolution. And he says without a resolution, uh, they will still stand and they will f still fight for that position in the presidency. Your reaction to that? Well, uh, he, he, he won't qualify. Uh, there is an electoral committee that processes candidates, and the electoral committee's mandate is very simple. You consider candidates from the south or the north. Anything outside that will not be in line with what the AU has resolved. So he might say whatever he wants to say, but we are an organ of the AU, and therefore we follow what the AU says we need to follow. Anything outside that, is not what uh, the AU expect of us. Now, Sadek is fielding two candidates, one from Zimbabwe and one from Malawi. Isn't that confusion within the Sadek caucus itself? There are no candidates as yet. There are ambitious people moving around with their own posters. Our caucus is going to meet and our caucus is going to choose one candidate. And Charumbira will be our candidate. When we left here, we had a candidate. And uh, we came back to conclude the mission that we started. We can't leave the mission halfway through. We are here to complete what we've started. And the so-called second candidate is actually a sellout because he's the one who was leading Echarumbira's campaign. The next thing we come here, he has been bought to denounce uh, that which we agreed on. So our caucus will meet, and uh, for you to be a candidate, you must be nominated by your caucus. So our caucus will meet and will choose one candidate, and that candidate will be Charumbira and will be president of PAP.